Well, from creepy crawlers to flying swarms, Monsoon 2021 has featured a lot of bugs. Sure have. Now seemingly in mass migration, crowds of caterpillars on the move and they're flooding some valley neighborhoods. Oh, uh, I've seen it every year. We live by the mountains, so we get them a lot. It's like a scene out of a sci-fi movie. The streets of North Phoenix have been filled with thousands and thousands of caterpillars on the move, and many of them seem to be heading in the same direction. I think it's pretty amazing. You know, I've seen a lot of stuff in relation to migration stuff in other states, and it kind of reminds me of that and Mother Nature doing her thing. For people like Tony McKenzie, it's just something he's used to seeing. I and mean, it's pretty neat how they all come down off the mountain. Not really sure if it has anything to do with the weather or all the rain we've had recently. This has been a, an excellent monsoon season. And uh, you'll find that wildlife in general, not even just the caterpillars, are really taking advantage of uh, the water and the resources they have right now. Collections manager for the Phoenix Zoo, Bradley Lawrence, says these sphinx moth caterpillars hatched several weeks after a heavy rain, and now they're looking for a bite to eat. So the caterpillars are feeding right now, and then when they've, when they've had enough, um, they'll go underground and create a pupa, and they'll stay uh, dormant until springtime, and they'll emerge from the pupa uh, as a moth. For now, the neighbors say they don't mind the caterpillar invasion, and in fact, some of them might have found a new pet. That one, I'll uh, take it home and uh, put it in a little terrarium and uh, let it cocoon and see if it'll cocoon for us and turn into whatever it's going to be, a butterfly or a moth. Oh my gosh, I would scream. Okay, Bradley Lawrence says the caterpillars are expected to change into moths in the early spring of 2022, which isn't much better. Oh gosh.